Apple just fixed the iPad 11 by giving it full multitasking support with iPad OS 26, which I've already installed on this budget $300 iPad, and it has been working flawlessly, making what used to be already the best value tablet of all time before the WWDC event, now the best budget computer of all time. Yes, this is now a legitimate laptop replacement now that we have iPadOS 26, and the craziest part is before this software, this iPad did not support the stage manager multitasking features because apparently, quote, the A16 chip was not fast enough and it didn't have enough RAM to support that feature. But Apple just did a massive 180 and gave this $300 on Amazon right now iPad full multitasking support with iPadOS 26, which basically proves that Apple was just trying to get everybody to spend more cash on the more expensive iPads the entire time. So it looks like all of the backlash has worked and we just got ourselves an even better deal, especially now that this iPad has double the storage, 128 gigs versus the previous 64, which was honestly too low. But now, if you consider the full package of what you're getting for 300 bucks, I mean the storage, the awesome new design, which looks beautiful, the very capable A16 chip that's even more powerful than before with six gigs of RAM instead of the previous four, we literally have a laptop killer on our hands, especially when you pair it with Apple's Magic Keyboard Folio and all of the new file management and multitasking features that Apple just added with iPadOS 26 and is now supported on this budget iPad. So with that said, let me walk you guys through some of my favorite new features of iPadOS 26 and let's see just how capable this iPad is in terms of multitasking performance. Because if this $300 iPad can handle multitasking just fine, then what's even the point of buying the iPad Air or even the iPad Pro. Now, yes, those do support the Apple intelligence features, which this one does not because it doesn't have eight gigs of RAM, but they're not even that good right now in terms of the Apple intelligence features. So that seems like the only caveat as well as, of course, other downsides like the display isn't as nice, it's non-laminated, but if you are on a budget, there has literally never been a better laptop replacement deal out there until right now. So with that said, let's dig in. And here we go, iPad OS 26 on the $300 budget iPad, which is amazing. You can see I have these apps over here. You can tap back and I have it in the four window mode. As you can see, when you swipe up, it puts them all away. You can get back to it just like that, which is really cool. I can't believe it's working this well on the iPad. Now, if you wanna go into full screen, you just tap that right there Bam, that green button. You could also grab it and flick it. Tap it again, and if you press and hold, it gives you all of these really cool options. If I want to, I can switch it to, I don't know, let's do this. Pretty cool, just switches just like that, and then put it back into that mode. You can also minimize them, just like that, and each window is fully resizable. You can just hold it and resize it like this, and you can just have it free floating everywhere, which is absolutely, Amazing. This is one of the things that I asked in my kind of um, before WWC wish list for iPadOS. Now, if I bring up the dock, I can also open up other things. So let's open up the calendar. So I just opened it up like that. Bam. I now have literally five different apps just floating there. This is the new files app finally. And here you can now have a list view. And one thing that I wished Apple would do with this new iPad OS was add a menu bar. And here you go, swipe down from the top. Here's for the app itself. File, you can do different things here. Look at all of these different options. You have your edit menu with select all, all of your different options, just like that. Look at that, directly from the menu bar, auto enhance. We just went into it just like that, Apple. Thank you so much. I could actually now, for the first time, drag and drop this, swipe up from the bottom, and put my folder into the dock. 
I now have direct access to my folder at all times. I tap on it and I can scroll through. One really cool feature is that we now have the preview app, finally. Let's go ahead and make this full screen. Here you have some options for adjusting the size. You can flip horizontally if you need to real quick. Have my information right there if I need it. You have a little uh, sheer export button. And now with the app switcher, when you swipe up like this, you'll see your different apps. Here I have a cluster of three open. So just like that, I opened them up. Nice. This is so intuitive. I absolutely love it. Let me just grab this and flick it. Bam! Apple, I can't believe you did this on the budget iPad. And if you want to start fresh and reset, just swipe up. You'll see your apps go off to the side. You can click them to get them back. Or if you swipe again, bam, you can start brand new, fresh with some new apps just like that. That is so cool. And another cool feature that Apple finally added is doing things in the background. Background tasks, basically like if you're exporting a video, you don't have to stay there and wait for that entire duration. You can just let it export and go to other apps. It'll do it in the background, absolutely amazing. Let's see if this works with a benchmark. I'm gonna start Geekbench, just like this. Swipe it over here, let's open uh, the calendar. There you go, move that right there, open the maps. Let's see, bam, maps just popped up. Okay, let's go back to Geekbench. Hey, I mean, it looks like it's working. Still working, that's cool. Introducing Close it down, ooh, that's loud, that's loud. Here's the uh, new control center. I just turned down the volume here. You can see that it has that glass-like, liquid glass look. Absolutely awesome. And there you go, guys iPad OS 26, absolutely killer feature. I'd connect the Magic Keyboard if I had it. Unfortunately, it is at home. And in terms of the performance of this iPad, it comes with the A16 chip, which is quite a bit more powerful than the previous A14. And of course, we did some gaming and we had perfectly smooth 60 FPS gameplay in COD Mobile. So that means with a lot of the casual games, it'll work just fine. And even some of the more impressive games as well, it's fast enough for most of the games and a lot of the tasks that you need to do, especially for the $300 price. So with that said, guys, we are entering a brand new era where Apple's iPads and their products in general are now such great deals, especially with these discounts on Amazon. I mean, $300, such good deals that no other company or brand can compete with Apple's iPads. And especially with iPadOS 26, that just made it even better. So I believe there is absolutely no reason to buy any other tablet right now. We just have such good value and such good software, even on a budget iPad like this. So with that said, to conclude my long-term review of the iPad 11 with the A16 chip, after about three months, it is such a good value. It is now a great laptop replacement with these new features that Apple has added to iPadOS 26. If you can get the beta on this thing, do it because it is so much better than before. And basically it's the best of both worlds. You could use it like a regular tablet, regular iPad, watch YouTube, watch Apple TV, other shows, Netflix, everything else, you can consume media and games so nicely, but you can also use it as a computer, as a real laptop replacement to do business work, multitasking, productivity, everything else, and for only $300. Everyone who's on a budget should be buying this because for 300 bucks, you will not find a better deal in tech. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments section below and subscribe above because we have more of these new OS videos coming up very soon. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.